ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. What am I doing? I'm jumping from ball to ball, of course. I want to show you some tips for the summer stitch along 2022. Steady ball And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is just not the same. Yes, this is the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. My eyes are up here. <laughs> so what we have here is uh, two balls, uh, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. They're both the same color and they are called light pink. And what you're going to notice for these is that the yarn starts at a different spot and it finishes at a different spot per ball because the, the yarn itself is not designed for the machine, it's designed for you. So what we have to do for the summer stitch along is to be very um, um, concentrated on the focal point that will make or break your creativity. So I will share about that. Some of you won't even care, but it matters to me. So when something's not quite right, it grabs our attention. You know what I'm saying? Like something on the screen is just kind of just coming up and going somewhere and you're kind of thinking, what is he doing with that? And that so let me make up some stories. When something is out of place on a yarn project, your eyes automatically go to it. So it's just a natural, I think, human instinct to do. When something is quite not right, your eyes just like, oh, okay. You know, so for example, you see the can of soups and it's all chicken soup, chicken soup, and then there's a tomato soup right in the middle of it. It's like, okay, that's not where it's supposed to be. Your eyes catch those kind of things. So on using the study of ombre with using ombre yarn, if something is at a place right in the focal point, that is what's going to be like, your eyes are going to keep going boom, boom, boom. And that's what you're trying to solve here. And this is really critical on the center piece of your afghan that you're going to make. So in the center of the afghan, you're going to notice that it transitions pretty seamlessly from one color to the other. And I decided to make the whole center piece as one color before switching to the next so that I could let almost an entire ball, I think it's actually just over an entire ball of the whole sequence have come to be. And I kind of planned it that way so that it will be quite uh, seamless. But as this afghan then progresses, you're going to notice is that the colors, when they end from one ball to another, are not in the same sequence. And as I talked about the secrets of Super Saver Ombre yarn in our previous video, there is five shades per ombre. So it's not a con constant, just a switch of blue to the next color. It is literally, it stops directly at a point. So if you really look at your yarn, you'll see that there's five colors itself. And so when you have to jump from one ball to another, you want to be conscious that the ball that you're jumping from to the ball you're jumping to is at the same color sequence. I'm not telling you to waste yarn, but in the focal points of the particular afghan, you will find that your eyes will automatically jump to it if it's in the wrong spot when you go to do that. So let's talk about that. Without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, On this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time so right in the center point of any afghan, whenever there's a color imperfection, you're going to see it each and every time. So it's one of those ideas that as the afghan gets bigger, it's okay to have the colors jumping around in order to make sense. You are going to notice some tips that I will have later on in the series towards the end where you will hear from me and I say, you know what, I wouldn't join it at the same spot that you just finished at. I would join it at a different spot so that you don't always end up with a shift of a line that goes completely down a seam line. And so you're going to be noticing that as we go. So and that will also distract you. So uh, from actually seeing that there's a pattern going on. So if in the later years or the later road or rounds of this afghan as it gets right closer to the end if it's always changing color on the same um, slip stitch itself then you're going to notice that this one afghan the one side is not going to match so you're going to see me jumping around like a jackrabbit in order to keep it consistent so i'll talk to you about that when we get there
So when the afghan gets much bigger, you're not going to notice the color imperfection as much as you would with the center. So you want to focus like you're actually looking into somebody's eyes. When you're going to talk to them, you look at their eyes. And so the very center of your blanket is the focal point of somebody's eyes. So you want to concentrate on that to be the seamless of colors. As it gets bigger, you're going to notice even if you have to pull um, a section of yarn out in order to get to the sequence in order to follow the last ball that you just finished you're going to notice that that yarn that you'll put aside you can use later and it won't be as noticeable when you're going to do that and you'll see that happening within this project as well so whatever colors you decided to use with this even if you decided to use plan coloring of solid coloring i think it will still work um, I really had a lot of fun designing this and I find that there's an addiction process in my brain of seeing like what does the next color do to the project and you will find yourself like oh that's kind of neat like how that's transitioning and you may be pleasantly surprised. So that's one of the major tips about this particular afghan that we're going to work on is that there is no wasted yarn in this. We'll always use what we have and it's six balls a red heart super saver ombre of two of the colors that you choose so two of one two of another two of another so six balls so that's gonna be fun so that's something to keep in mind for the summer stitch along 2022 my eyes are up here <laughs> see you later without thinking twice